हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द बायोलॉजी क्लास माई सेल्फ शाह नवास सेंट जोसेफ पी यू साइंस कॉलेज विजयपुर स्टूडेंट्स एज बेसिकली इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फाइलम एनेलिडा वेयर दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेल डेवलप्ड ग्रुप ऑफ फाइलम और एनिमल्स इंक्लूडेड हियर वन मोर ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स इज गोइंग टू कम इन द इनवर्टी ब्रेड्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट आर्थ्रोपोडा स्टूडेंट्स इन होल एनिमल किंगडम आर्थ्रोपोडा इज वन ऑफ द स्पेशलाइज ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स बेसिकली इट इंक्लूड्स वेरी वेराइटीज ऑफ एनिमल्स इन विच ओके सो फाइलम आर्थ्रोपोडा इंक्लूडेड द वेराइटीज ऑफ एनिमल्स इन विच बेसिकली देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट इंक्लूडेड सो लेट्स बिगिन वन बाय वन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फाइलम आर्थ्रोपोडा students before we go to the content of this topic let's discuss what exactly the meaning of arthropoda understood students here there are two words are there arthropoda means arthro means here we can say jointed okay students arthro arthro means jointed whereas podas podas means legs students this group of animals is are even also commonly called as jointed legged animals students they are commonly called as what jointed legged animals okay because of they show jointed appendages Pre uh, later on we will discuss about this still more so this phylum arthropoda was first coined by the word arthropoda was given by two scientists c bold and h stanius they both included have given the word arthropoda by seeing its characteristics later it is included 85000 species on the earth students the number of species of phylum arthropoda are near about 85000 to 90000 species are going to be seen that's reason it is one of the largest phylum in animal kingdom in whole animal kingdom phylum arthropoda is going to be considered as one of the largest phylum students wherever in your surrounding you see there are lots of insects are there there are lots of flies are there all these are included under the phylum arthropoda so let's discuss about all its important characteristics students one by one okay they are cosmopolitan in distribution what do you mean by cosmopolitan students here what exactly it means cosmopolitan is nothing but the animals is which shows the varieties of habitat varieties of habitat such all the animals is are considered as what here cosmopolitan we call students so basically these arthropoda are cosmopolitan in distribution moreover these group of animals is can be seen in water in air in what you call on the land okay in the every place is going to students every place on the earth everywhere we are going to see the phylum arthropoda animals so that's reason they are going to be commonly called as what here cosmopolitan okay now basically they are diploblastic already you know about this character coelomate as i said you all these animal groups are going to be show coelomic cavity bilateral symmetry body can be cut into two equal halves okay in one plane that all the things we have already discussed now body cavity is hemocele student this is very very important hemocele as we have seen in the sponges also we have discussed there is a internal cavity is there that is called as what a spongocel but it is not lined by mesoderm that's reason they were a coelomate animals is. but this is the arthropoda is going to be coelomate being coelomate that is going to what it has the cavity that cavity is called as what students here hemocele and this hemocele is filled with what hemolymph here hemolymph is nothing but students it is blood blood whether this blood is color or colorless understood that we will discuss later on but this hemo seal that cavity is filled with what hemo lymph what we call the blood okay next body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen students just you bring one of the example in your mind that is cockroach okay the household 
one of the organism which usually present in our houses you just bring in your mind if you bring the cockroach you can observe there is a head region is there okay now basically it is going to show the what do you call this is the thorax region and later on there is what you can say there are abdomen region is there like this okay so it is going to show the some of the what do you call there are tentacles are there there are two compound eyes are there okay moreover just simple diagram i have drawn just you bring example in your mind means you will easily understand the characters okay so body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen abdomen is a stomach region so here tail is totally absent now the animals are metamerically segmented students as in the metameric segmentation also we have seen in the previous phylum that is annelida where even the group of arthropoda animals is are also going to show what segments on their body so body can be cut internally and externally in equal parts they have segments on the body surface so these segment because of the present of the segments it is called as what segmented body or they are metamerically segmented okay now exoskeleton is chitinous cuticle chitinous cuticle students this is very important means what in the previous group as in the phylum annelida also we have seen the body surface is surrounded by cuticle a waxy layer is going to be present but in the phylum arthropoda this cuticle is made up of chitin chitin or you can pronounce it what chitin okay chitin whatever you can pronounce it it is one of the polysaccharide students polysaccharide chitin about this you will study in the other uh, topics okay just to remember this arthropoda cuticle is made up of what chitin or chitin you can say that's reason we call it as what chitinous cuticle we call and this chitinous cuticle is present in the form of chitinous plates it is present in the form of plates there are some plate like structures are going to be seen on the body surface so these plate like structures are called as what sclerites we call students sclerites so these sclerites are mainly going to provide the protective surface means it's all internal organs are being protected by these uh, sclerites students so sclerites are present on the body surface okay so this is what about the chitinous cuticle i hope you all got this concept now they show moulting or ecdysis student this is one more important character what you are going to see in the phylum arthropoda what does it mean moulting as we have said there is a chitinous cuticle is there in the form of chitinous plates students whenever the arthropoda animals are being going to grow when their development stage when the arthropoda is going to be show the development stage at that time they will shed off many layers many chitinous layers they are going to be shed off okay as these group of animals is during their development that they are shedding the layers old layer they will shed new layer will form old layer will shed new layer will form so this process is called as what students here we call moulting or even it is also called as what ecdysis okay moulting or ecdysis so shedding of its old layer getting the new layer is called as what moulting or ecdysis this is what one of the very important character what you should remember regarding about the phylum arthropoda students there are some important peculiar characteristics are going to come for each and every phylum students if you just catch out those peculiar character it will be very much helpful for your uh, need preparation okay yes now the <coughs> jointed appendages are present which helps in feeding locomotion reproduction and as they work as a sense receptor students jointed appendages as i already said you this phylum arthropoda is also called as jointed legged animals moreover this is the first phylum in whole animal kingdom shows the appendages means legs are going to be shown they basically have what jointed jointed means what 
two double okay so they will be going to have what jointed appendages and these jointed appendages are moreover helps in first of all they mainly helps in what locomotion you can see in the cockroach cockroach have legs it can move with the help of uh, these uh, what do you call uh, jointed appendages it helps in feeding means what it can catch the food take in it its mouth okay that is what we call feeding even it also helps in reproduction reproduction indicates what whenever the cockroach is showing the what do you call uh, sexual reproduction during that time the male will attaches to the female by the help of what these jointed appendages and even they also act as what sensory receptor so they can send sense the surrounding understood so in this way what these jointed appendages will perform the various functions inside the phylum arthropoda okay moreover La very important thing is what here circulatory system is again what here open type open type circulation so with the dorsal heart heart is present on the dorsal side of these cockroaches okay about this the physiology of uh, cockroach you are going to study in future classes that is in physiology of animal physiology i think now the topics are going on so animal physiology you will get uh, understand about the importance of this what is the dorsal heart and what its functions and all now you just remember the all arthropoda have what here dorsal heart with open type circulation again open type circulation means there are no blood vessels are there so without blood vessels the blood circulates it means what the blood flows by diffusion where body organs get bath into the blood okay now about that we will in future we will study about the all these things okay now circulatory blood is hemolymph as we have said it is going to show what here blood is there and this hemolymph may contain respiratory pigment or may not contain it may contain or may not contain means some of the animals are being show this respiratory pigment as you can say uh, what do you call hemoglobin understood it may be present may not be present like cockroaches do not have cockroach have white blood understood it means they do not have respiratory pigment whereas in other group of animals is like what other uh, insects are there flies are there uh, some of the other things are there in which we can see this respiratory pigment students now respiration is by body surface some of the animals is of this group of arthropoda will respire will respire with the help of what here body surface some of them may have gills gills are there like example prawns prawns are the aquatic animals is which basically bear the gills for their respiration trachea which is going to present in the insects all the insects you can take many different types of insects what we are going to have all they will respire with the help of what here trachea some of them have what here book lungs it is like a lungs like structure where we can see in the scorpion even there are book gills are there gills like structures which are going to be seen in the crabs crabs we can say horse see crab we call usually it is in in generally the crabs are there so these are going to show the different types of respiratory organs students now excretion through green glands there are structures excretory organs like nephridia we have seen in the annelida likewise in this also green glands are there where in the arachnids these are the examples of phylum arthropoda where they show what here uh, basically green glands are the excretory organs whereas malpighian tubules are there this is very important and peculiar character of phylum arthropoda malpighian tubules will be found in the phylum arthropoda where example in the insects insects it is been found students so insects have excretory organ as a malpighian tubules we call okay now uricotelic what do you mean by uricotelic these arthropoda are basically shows the removal of nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid in the form of uric acid is a is their nitrogenous waste means with the help of all these uh, excretory organ they actually remove what here uric acid uric acid they will remove that's reason the animals is who release the uric acid as a nitrogenous waste they are called as what here uricotelic likewise ureotelic the animals is which release the nitrogenous waste 
in the form of urea and some of the animals is are there who release their nitrogenous waste in the form of what ammonia they are called as what ammonotelic like this different animals is are there but moreover many number of arthropoda are basically they are uricotelic they release their nitrogenous waste in the form of what uric acid now sense organs are comprises means they have a sense organs moreover antennae act as a sense organs as in the cockroaches you can see there are two antennae are there and even they have a compound eyes they may be have compound or they may be simple both type of eyes we can see inside the group of arthropoda some animals is so show the some animals is show the simple eyes some animals shows the compound eyes so moreover these are act as a sense organ so they can get the surrounding whatever they are getting in their surrounding now moreover these group of animals is are oviparous even they also lay their eggs okay so basically what they are producing the eggs these are going to be uh, helps in what process of what do you call uh, formation of a new egg one okay they are the oviparous next thing is what unisexual moreover having a separate sexes single sexes are there and even they show what here sexual dimorphism what do you mean by sexual dimorphism as i already said in my previous videos that the organisms sex can be identified by its external morphological features that is going to called as what here sexual dimorphism we call students now direct development the all arthropoda means number of arthropoda can show the direct development means direct giving birth to their young ones some of them are going to be showing what metamorphosis instead of indirect development i have wrote here metamorphosis what do you mean by metamorphosis students here okay metamorphosis means the organisms undergo there are several changes in the larva to become an adult so larva undergo changes to become an adult is called as what here metamorphosis means larva comes means obviously it is going to show what indirect development okay so there is a metamorphosis is also present now these are the important characteristics of phylum arthropoda moreover let's see some of the examples examples like what here honey bees are there which produces the honey cockroach which are going to present in the houses butterflies are there ants are there termites are there house flies are there mosquitoes are there there are number of examples we can see in our surrounding okay so this is what all about the important characteristics of phylum arthropoda i hope you got the concept so please do like my videos and share among in your friends okay thank you thank you one and all